check out my progress today. I thought that I would talk about Gatsby in his puppy phase because a lot of you guys were asking about it. One of the questions you guys were asking was about the most difficult things to teach Gatsby. Um, there were like a few things that were really hard. One of them was a command down. That one was really hard to teach because he was so close to the ground already. The other thing that was hard to teach him was to potty train him. To use the pads was super easy. You guys remember I used that potty training puppy apartment thing? But to get him to go outside after he was totally vaccinated with all the shots, that was a lot harder to teach. The eye fetch was a very big challenge because I thought that I could teach it to him in like one day, but it did take like consistent effort over like a month. Um, what else? Separation anxiety when you have a puppy because dogs can go crazy when you're gone. If you notice when I come home now, I trained him to be incredibly calm so when I come back, he's not like jumping around going crazy. He's just very calm. And that actually does really help with separation anxiety. Basically in order to do that, when you leave the house, you just leave. You don't say like, bye, or anything like that. And when you come back, you have to be very calm. Gatsby's annoyed with me right now. You can kind of tell. Body language is like, get away from me. Another suggestion for puppies I always say is between eight to 12 weeks is the best time to introduce them to everything. If you notice, Gatsby's not really afraid of anything. Because once after they pass the 12 week period, it gets a lot harder to introduce them to things because they become very afraid of everything that they haven't been exposed to before then. I think the main thing is just to set up rules before you get the dog and then you stick to those rules because it's always easier to become more lenient with the rules but it's a lot harder to take one of the freedoms away such as like, oh, well now that you're old enough, I'm not gonna allow you on the furniture because it's hard to explain to the dog and take away their freedom. <laughs> um, another funny thing that I noticed from a few vlogs ago when I was at VidCon, when Bad Luck Brian was there, watch Gatsby's face. Gatsby takes like one lick. Hey, actually, look, get a picture of my phone. <laughs> you want a video or a picture? Just a picture. Oh, it might be on video. Yeah, you take a picture. I think I'm taking a video. Here we go. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with you. I don't want to catch bad luck. Other than that, you guys keep asking, do Corgi shed? Yes, Corgi shed a lot. I guess he doesn't shed that much, but he does shed. Do Corgis bark? And yes, Corgis are known to bark a whole ton, but Gatsby doesn't. Yeah? Someone was also asking me to play dead to see what Gatsby's reaction would be, and his reaction is pretty much, I want to play. If I just play dead, all he does is he just keeps bringing more toys to me. Here. I'll show you. Uh. <laughs> I think it's time to clean the apartment. I haven't cleaned in a while. Cue the music. It's all clean now. Woo! Yeah? Look at that. Now I can continue with the day. Because you'll never be Jordan, you couldn't even be Pippin, you couldn't even be Trippin', you can't afford a vacation, I'm out in Haiti with Haitians, I go to Asia with Asians, you mad dusty, you a little dusty possum, I just come through with a six like my name was Blossom. <laughs> So last time grilling was a success, so I thought that I would do it this time with two steaks and a chicken. 
So I just did the same way as the last vlog, so check that out if you haven't seen it. And we're gonna go downstairs and grill these up. Okay, made it to the barbecue grills. That takes the longest, is heating up the barbecue grill. So I brought my Nintendo 3DS so I can play some Super Smash Brothers. My garlic salt, lemon pepper for my chicken, and just regular pepper. And my two steaks. Now we wait. Okay, the chicken looks like it's done. I got the two steaks and the chicken. Back upstairs for lunch. And here's my lunch, chicken and rice. Dad, going on a walk. He just wants to be good. Corgi, good. Corgi, uh-huh. Dad species is friend Simba. Oh. Simba got so big. Gatsby, come. what that's all about. Gatsby's exhausted, but your friend is gonna come, Tessa, later on, so you gotta make sure that you're still awake for that, hmm? I'm gonna check out the new candy store, Sugarfina, over here. Yes! Look at that. This looks like super upscale candy over here in little boxes. These all the candies. Wow, expensive. Eight dollars for this. It comes in an amiibo box. Dark chocolate marshmallow eggs. S'mores. The eggs are about to hatch. Chocolate bacon toffee, chocolate bacon pretzels. Made in the US, of course. Champagne, there is champagne. $60 for that one. We have all these tasters to try. It's like a milk diet. Champagne bears, it's like so few in here. Get all of these. I want to try an apple pie one. Does it taste like an apple pie in your mouth? It does. It does? It really does. Okay, we figured it out. You have to buy the box. You buy a $6 box and then you fill it with these and you have to pay whatever the price is on here. That's so exciting. And then you wrap it. Oh my gosh. These are the large boxes. They're 18 to 20 dollars. Is this 20 dollars worth of gummy bears to you? Sean pointed out the Swedish fish. It's from Sweden. Mango gummies. It's like mango. Is this sour heart? Does it taste like pumpkin pie? It's just like pumpkin. So good. Cool. I'm buying that for sure. 100% I'm buying that. We're done with the candy store. That was so crazy. I think my favorite was yours was the pumpkin pie. pie. I think mine was the apple pie. That one was too filling. To be honest, <laughs> I have to take a break after this one. Of those. <laughs> it was too heavy. My dinner is salad and some steak here. Please, sir. Please. Good dog. Back up. Back up. Back up. Woo! Good dog. Bring it back. Bring it back. Come inside. Come inside. Good dog. Back up. Back up. Back up. Woo! You can do this all day long. All night long, huh? Come inside. Come inside. Ah, good dog. Back up. Back up. Oh. Back up. Just gonna do this all night long? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, again. He did this like 50 times already. <laughs> He's been doing this all night long. Yeah? You're so good, Gatsby. Oh! Yeah? Are you happy? Are you happy, dog? <laughs> yeah? Are you done? Look at that happy face. So happy. Oh, you wanna play some more? Back up, back up, back up. Good work, Gatsby. Getting better at it. <laughs> we have Tessa visiting today. 
Because I remember Gatsby. And here's Bernard too. What's up? Do you guys remember each other? I can test up. Oh. Can you sit? <laughs> We're trying to take a picture. It's really hard. <laughs> oh. Wait, stay. Bernard's checking out all my amiibos. He thinks this is a fake amiibo. He's like, what is this? <laughs> Tess is like, what is this? Helmet. Pikmin is pretty big. And then who's this backpack guy? Oh, that's Ness. You obviously don't know too much Nintendo characters. <laughs> that's actually a pretty big one. What about this guy? That's Bowser Jr. But why is he on some like a clown copter? A <laughs> fish thing? <laughs> I like this one. Dr. Mario. It's getting kind of late, but I am so sleepy and I'm actually not feeling too well. So I thought that I would just um, go to sleep early and to make it up to you guys, I'll play a little bit of deleted footage from a few episodes in which I vlogged, but I ended up deleting it for time. So check out some deleted footage and I'll see you guys later. Good night. Hey guys, I just got back and guess what just came in the mail? Gatsby's Bark Box. Gatsby's like, what? What? As you guys know, Bark Box is a monthly subscription service for your dog and you can choose like the size of the dog and they send them awesome things that you can't get anywhere else other than Bark Box. So Gatsby really likes it. Bark Box is sending Gatsby stuff and they set up a website for Gatsby where you can go. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. You can click on that link and if you sign up for six months or more for BarkBox, you'll get a free month. And it'll also help up this channel too. So make sure to do that if you have a dog. And see what you got inside your BarkBox. <gasps> oh, it's a block party. What's in here? A watermelon toy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Fire hydrant furry rope. Got some chicken biscuits, beef tender sticks, crunchy deer chew also. Gatsby, you scored. Are those awesome toys? So make sure to click on the link in the description below and if you remember, if you sign up, you help the channel out and you'll also get a free month if you sign up for six months or more. Mmm, watermelons? Yeah. So happy. Gatsby's favorite. Napa cabbage, his little nighttime treat. Good night.